Hello people, Eastern Ontario. I just want to make an update on my uh, my little project, off-grid project. So we just, like I said in my other video, we just added those solar panels on top there. Those were the flexible ones. There's uh, 250 watts of power over there at uh, 30, I think it's 37 volt. They match with these 180s, those three 180s, also at 37 volts, and the sharps. They were at 17.9 volts. So now we have those solar panels. They are always on the battery banks through the charge controller. These three 180s they go into a 600 grid tie, and on a three-way switch. That also, if I switch the switch, it goes to a um, it goes to the battery banks also in the charge controller. I'll show you that outside, uh, inside. I mean, and these four now they're um, they're matched up. I put them in series parallel. You got these two together, series parallel. These two together, series pair. I mean, in series. Those two in series, and then they match in series parallel. And uh, I know everybody knows how to do this: negative to positive, and then you got negative, ne positive into the box, negative to positive, and then negative, positive into the box. And let's go inside. Still got old faithful over there. No wind today. Very, very cloudy day too. Very cloudy day. Not much sun. So they're not producing that much. But I'll show you what they do anyway. So I got the whole... Oh, I gotta turn off. Turn on the... To have some light in here. Well, well there's a grid now. So basically what we've done... We've got all our disconnect box here for the solar arrays. The two flexible one, they go into this one and then they roll down into this and into the charge controller. Misery Wind and Solar charge controller. Love it. It's a Coleman Air but sold by them. Great product. And we have the other three 180s into this one and all the grounds you know they all go together and this is my new switch that I just bought so on this side it goes through the charge controller since it's not a beautiful day outside so I want as much power going to the battery because we're a bit off grid and um, on grid uh, my solar my batteries are still the same over here underneath they're um, they're vented through the walls so but that's so far that's the update so we added this 600 so when uh, when the switch is turned on to this side and there she goes and she's going to produce inside the grid just like this one that's the 500 the 500 now is with the four sharps series parallel this accept 22 to 60 volts so I had to uh, bring up the power they're only 17 so I put them series and it brings up my power to what 38 so I got plenty of uh, voltage to make it run and they're both pumping in the grid now and the 600 like I say they go on the 180s kids are playing eh? can you hear them and they go on the 180s and uh, they supply power to the grid or if I turn this off back to this it goes into the battery banks I got a 12 volt battery bank so charging batteries Well, that's a little addition I did. It's not very much. Still got uh, the inverters, Pierce inverters there. So they're only 1,500 watts each. But uh, now I've got the 600 yeah. and the 500, yeah. and they're really not pumping a lot of <laughs> a lot of wattage. Both of them. Oh, there's o that's only one. What? So the 500 right now is pumping 33 watts inside the system. But you know very 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 cloudy day but if I add number two she's gonna sink in and there you go just brought it up to in 96 so from 33 to 96 that's both of them and it's a very 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 cloudy day so I'd rather have on the battery banks on a cloudy day so it keeps my battery banks at least functional because as you can see fridge still connected 
all the lights, my whole house, my new Mr. Heater, everything runs on those batteries, so it doesn't cost much of electricity. And I showed you my uh, my new hot water thing, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say, my little update. There you go, in the nice box, everything's in the grid now. Loving the hobby, expensive hobby, more to come one day. See you later.